Hi, I'm Rachel with Raza, and today I'm going to show you how to install Raza on Windows 10. So if you're curious, here are my system specifications. Uh, the important things are that I'm running Windows 10 and I have a 64-bit system. In order to install Raza, we're going to use Anaconda. So the first thing to do is to install Anaconda. Uh, I've gone to anaconda.com slash distribution, the link will be below. And I'm going to download Python 3.7. Once you've downloaded, start the executable. Once you've started the executable, you'll be walked through installation, uh, accept the license. I'm just going to uh, install it for myself um, in C users, Rachel Anaconda 3, that's fine. Uh, and the important part here is that I'm going to click this top box that says add Anaconda 3 to my path environment variable and hit install. Next, we're going to open the Anaconda shell. So to do that, I'm going to hit Windows button on my keyboard and then Anna uh, and then start typing Anaconda prompt. Uh, you do not want the PowerShell prompt. You want the Anaconda prompt. From here, let's go into the directory where we want to build our bot. And now we're going to create a new Conda environment, and this will allow us to handle all of our dependencies together in a single centralized place. So we're going to do Conda create name, uh, and let's call it installing Raza. Uh, so we know what we're doing in it. Uh, and then I'm also going to specify that I want my Python version to be 3.7.6, which is the one that I have installed in this Conda distribution, just to make sure that we get the right version. Say yes. From here, we can activate our installation using this command, or you could type it out. I'm just going to copy and paste because I'm feeling lazy. Uh, and you can see now that instead of the base environment, we are in the installing Raza environment. From here, a couple things we need to do. First is install ujson, which stands for ultra JSON, uh, that will help us with some of our dependencies that we need to install. Uh, from there, we need to install TensorFlow, which I'm going to do through Conda. This will take a second. And once that's done, we're going to install Raza. Raza we're going to install via pip rather than Conda. Uh, there's not currently a uh, Conda version of Raza. So in order to run TensorFlow on Windows, at the moment you need to download Visual C++ separately. Um, and so I'm going to download the 64-bit version here, and that will download an executable that I can then run. Uh, and then you should be able to run TensorFlow code on Windows. So from here, let's come back to our installing Raza Conda environment. Let's try initializing a new bot. We'll do it in our current project and then train an initial model. Now that our model is done training, we can actually interact with it right from the command line. So I'm hitting yes here. Uh, we're starting a SANIC server. Uh, yes, please do allow access. Thank you. Uh, and we can start talking with our bot. So hi. Uh, and the bot that's initialized is a very simple bot. If you are sad, it shows you a picture of a tiger. So I'm going to say I'm very sad. I'm not, I'm fine. Uh, and this will send us to a link, which is a very cute picture of a little tiger. Uh, did that help you? Yep, love tigers, very cute. Uh, great, carry on. Uh, and I will say goodbye. And then stop uh, to uh, exit our bot. So that's all you need to do to install Raza and get started on Windows 10.